East Texas Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Andrew Samet. Welcome back and here is a look at long view with our sky view camera brought to you by the monster law firm. Again, we did see some raindrops trying to freeze on the camera lens earlier, but it looks like the wind has dried off our lens right now and the temperature is well above freezing in long view at 37. Now, if you are in Greg County in the long view area, you are under a winter weather advisory uh, because some roads may become slick, but not really until the overnight hours into Wednesday morning. So for the day on uh, Tuesday, we're fine in the city of long view and in the surrounding areas, but as you head for further west and north. That is where we start to see those concerns into Smith County and uh, Upshur County as well. Even into Wood County, we are tracking some areas of showers that are moving through and only increasing across the area. So if you are in Mineola, Quitman and uh, even uh, Gilmer as well up towards uh, Emory and Sulphur Springs over the next hour or so, you're going to see the rain picking up across the area and that could uh, lead to some very slippery roadways out there where we have the dark blue. Look at this road temperatures now in Athens below 32. So any rain that falls in Athens is now freezing on all types of roadways out there for the most part. Uh, so use extreme caution if you have to head out on the roads in Henderson County up to Van Zant rains and Hopkins County has the coldest road temperatures right now. Uh, very dangerous to be out on those roadways the farther north and west you go. Uh, Tyler, the road temperature is now just a degree above freezing and Jacksonville two degrees above freezing there. Uh, Gilmer again, if you see some freezing rain right now, it looks like the roads overall should be OK, but still can't rule out that icing on bridges and overpasses. Now, as we head, uh, take a look at the impact wise for us with this freezing rain and the dark pink here, icing on main roads uh, again across that area. Further south and east you go, the less impactful it gets. We can see some icy spots on bridges and overpasses, especially tonight for places like Longview and potentially as far south as Henderson and Crockett as well. But then south and east of there, it is just a mainly a concern of some wet roadways, which can still be slippery out there, but just not icy. Here's what Futurecast has going forward. Rain will continue to pick up as we head throughout the morning with the line of uh, the freezing temperatures uh, kind of moving back and forth in our area. So uh, really it's all going to depend on what your temperature is to see what kind of impacts you are going to have, but we will continue to see rain as we head throughout the day today. May get a little bit of a lull in the activity Tuesday evening, but then rain will pick up Wednesday morning. If this verifies that we could see a very messy morning for us on our Wednesday where travel would not be advised from Tyler down to Athens, Palestine, and potentially as far south as Jacksonville. But as we head into Wednesday afternoon, the freezing rain will gradually be replaced by just plain rain across the area, which will continue into our day on Thursday and then we'll finally dry out as we head into uh, the day on Friday with the sunshine increasing out there as we head into the weekend. The temperature is increasing as well and then for deep east Texas it's a plain rain for us for the next couple of days with the exception of Houston County could see uh, some light freezing rain.